Age of Penis Cousins. Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, this is the thing. I'm still kind of getting my head around of how I feel about. Um, this actually happened on the day of recording, and it involves the game Paranautical Activity. Paranautical Activity. Yeah. Which is a cool little game I have on Steam, and I was considering it for a game for each other at some point. Um, basically, the story as I understand it is... Steam put it up in their featured sale thing for like Halloween theme or whatever, but they listed it as being alpha when it's out of alpha Uh and it's a full game now. Yeah. And the creator of the game, a man named Max Murderbeck. Max Murderbeck. Murderbeck. Ironically Uh enough, given what he's about to transpire. Uh, basically wasn't too happy with it and started by ranting about Fox Steam and stuff. Then went on about how Steam was sort of stealing money from his... Like, he'd taken so much money as well, which is something I've heard from a few indie developers, actually, that Steam is in the holy land that people sometimes assume it is. Well, I know they take a huge cut of the games compared because of the contracts and stuff. They screw... Uh, like, indie developers don't get a big cut of their games compared to like the big developers. Yeah. Um, but that's more to do with the contracts and stuff. You know, read what you sign. <laughs> yeah, but this, yeah. Well, the thing with Steam is it's like, where else do you go? Yeah. If your game's not on Steam, <coughs> you instantly limit your audience massively. Which is... But anyway, so he wasn't too happy, and he started swearing and ranty, and he kind of got a bit worse to the point where he... I think he said, I'm going to fucking kill Gabe Newell. At which point, he then found out that his game is now banned from Steam. Yeah. So Steam took it off. Now, what are your thoughts, Tom? Right. On the one hand, personal stuff shouldn't affect a business. On the other hand, if someone sent me a death threat and I had the power to ban them and just be a dick, I probably fucking would. Because it... Fuck them. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But... I've not played the game, I don't know if it's any good or anything. So, I, if I own the game, I'd probably be slightly annoyed. I don't know if it affects you. Like, do you still have the game on Steam? Or have they completely removed it? I still own the game on Steam. It's just no one else can buy the game yeah. on Steam now. See, it's interesting you said, like, you fuck them over to be a dick, you know? Yeah. That type of thing. Is, it does feel a bit dicky to me. Yeah. Because the guy has worked really hard on his game. And it's, you know, loads of effort to keep it going. And surely... Like, I would never condone a death threat, and the guy should apologise, Max Murderbeck, should yeah. apologise for, for reference in murdering Gabe Newell, and, and should make clear that he was upset, and I think he deleted the tweet quite quickly afterwards, mm. but it was one of those, like, you know, as soon as you tweet something, it's screenshot. Yeah. End of, end of, end of it. If you post something online, except that it's posted online, yeah. it's out there. Yeah. At that point, like, it's, even, like, with takedowns and all sorts of stuff, like, it's somewhere. Yeah. It is somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So, um, obviously, don't tweet when you're upset is a lesson. Like, I learned ages ago on Facebook, like, don't do a status when you're drunk or upset because you will come off as a fucking dick. I used to have a thing I did because I worked, used to work Friday night and then Saturday uh, morning and then it changed to Friday morning, Saturday night, is when I was in Friday night on my own. About half 11 midnight, I would go through my Facebook feed and you would see all these drunk rants about people from people who had had a bad night would got lost or got in a fight, etc. And then next morning they'd all be deleted because people would like post things drunk and then delete them. Mm. Um, but once it's out there, it's out there, and you should he should absolutely apologise. But is it right to ban his fucking game? Like I don't think it's not like he just is a troll doing legitimate threats. Mm. It's just a dude ranting. Do you know what I mean? Or by all means, call the police and say, "Oh, we've had a murder threat." let the police investigate it because I'm pretty sure the police have pretty quickly ascertained that there isn't actually a threat of yeah. murder uh, there isn't a, an actual physical threat of murdering it's just a dude online venting and venting in a, a twattish way but you're kind of like it, it, it's kind of mafia like like we run this town mm. and you play by our rules type of thing and Steam did fuck up they fucked up by saying his game's alpha not and like I won't buy alpha Rob who does some of our game for each other he doesn't buy alpha games um, prison architect and Zomboid being the exception for me he doesn't have any exceptions 
I, uh, I think he's got Prison Architect, but I think he bought it because of a bundle as opposed to actually going yeah, out and buying it separately. He did. Which I, is the same thing I did. And I bought him Banished, which he loved until yeah. it, uh, some things went wrong because of the Alpha State. So maybe Steam should, like, maybe there should be um, like a fine system or some form of disciplinary action short of banning a game that you can take against developers that behave in a certain way although how you decide what is and isn't an acceptable way i'm going to leave for another discussion because we'll get bogged down in that for ages but it, it just feels to me like like the guy he's now talking about him <laughs> he said something about he's thinking about going between killing himself and go, going back to his job at radio shack which i'm hoping is just him joking <clears throat> Because he definitely shouldn't kill himself. But that's like, it's a guy, the guy's livelihood, and he'll have other games to develop. And Paranormal Activity was a rated game, you know, people liked it. So, should he, like, because he reacted badly to a fuck up by Steam, who are quite notorious for not being good at communicating with people anyway, should he be banned? Should his game be banned? Should he suffer that? I think, like, if they had warned him beforehand, if they'd been like, uh, don't rant, blah, blah, blah. Um, about this, please apologise for this threat. Um, and then he continued. I'd be like, fair enough. But to just immediately ban, he's like, oh yeah, we don't like you. Get off. Yeah, yeah, it feels a bit like God with his toes, doesn't it? Yeah. So there's, maybe there should be a strike system. Like it should be two, one strike is what you get, and then next strike you're out. Yeah. And it should be that's a strike, and if you don't apologise, we will ban you type thing. And, give that kind of thing because we're all human and we all get upset and that's what it was it was it wasn't a dude being a twat because he's he might be a twat max murder yeah. like he's got the type of name from someone who could be a twat <laughs> but it's a guy who's obviously really passionate about his game you have to be to be an indie developer in this market where it's all crowded and everyone's you know and he's got his game to steam which is an amazing achievement in itself and then it's not getting the proper shall we say it's not advertised properly and that will affect business it being listed yeah. alpha as I've said maybe they should like have been a bit of a cooler head than just right he's banned even though I'm not condoning a death threat and he's no. an idiot for doing that he should have also had a cooler fucking reaction than to go straight to death threats and stuff but, oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, well it was like I think it was five or six tweets he shouldn't have tweeted no. at all oh he should have tweeted my game isn't actually alpha and he probably should have said Steam's got it wrong and probably not even sworn at Steam and tried to message them. Maybe mm. he did and they didn't respond, in which case maybe he's a little bit more entitled to get a bit angrier, but he should still be trying to be constructive in his anger or just not putting his anger yeah. out there on public internet forum. And I get like why death threats are a big thing in the climate with Gamergate, which one day if I grow my testicles back, I will be willing to do in a discussion. <laughs> but I'm trying to wait till the world becomes a little bit more rational before we go to Gamergate. But I just... I'm not comfortable with it. Like, I think he's an idiot for tweeting a death threat, but I'm mm. not comfortable. This is the first time I've really been disappointed in Steam where I can't just go, yeah, I can see why they would do that. It doesn't feel fair or right to me. Yeah. Are you... Well, it's like that guy uh, a while ago, like, that posted um, a sarcastic thing about shooting up his school or something and then got arrested. Oh, the League of Legends guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he was jailed for yeah. a bit. Like... Why don't people look into things first and look at like the context that stuff is in and make a decision based on that rather than just going, uh, click. Yeah, let's destroy someone's life immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that kid, uh, the situation was like like he was being sarcastic but they you know, it's a small town America judge, you know, fear of the yeah. youth is what America have. Because when you sell guns for free your options are make money off guns and fear your youth or don't make money off guns and just treat your youth like shit like the UK do. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're your two yeah. choices. Um, but yeah, I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not I'm not happy. Steam, get a new. It's not good. It's not good yeah. behaviour. Let's hope that someone makes a better thing than Steam. Well, I'm hoping they'll reinstate <laughs> the game. I, I oh, actually yeah. am. The more I think about it, the more the more this is helping me actually make up my mind. I think they should reinstate the game. Maybe with some penalty, maybe there should be like rules about where your game won't be featured on the main page for X number of months, or you... I don't want to say withhold money because I don't think that's necessarily a good thing to do to an indie developer, but there should be strikes. Just or... ask him to apologise. Just yeah. send a message to the guy, to uh, the murder guy, 
I just like apologise for your um, rant and whatever, and we'll reinstate the game. Yeah, and even set they they seem they, you know, they seem like that big kind of or oh, we're cool. They they want to they're, they're kind of like the Tim Burton in that they you mm. know they appear as this laid back kind of slightly hippie ish thing. Maybe they're not actually quite as laid back as they seem. Well yeah well it goes with Tim Burton again yeah, yeah. Superman yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So maybe like maybe Steam should say like yeah we're sorry we got it wrong with the advertisement you should actually contact us through this we should deal with it da 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 but your reaction is totally unacceptable and we expect a, a full public apology and then your game will be and you'll be given a strike and if you get another strike blah 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 I don't know if they have a strike system already I don't know any of that but it just seems to me like the amount of shitty games that Steam has had on it that lied and were broken and yeah. the very few times that they've actually stopped terrible games being sold maybe in this case they've kind of overreacted a bit or their reaction isn't fair even though i get that it's a death threat yeah i get the seriousness of that and that's not something i want to i don't want to come off as i'm trying to say death threats are okay because they're not no i'm gonna fucking kill you if you this video doesn't get 10 views yeah i'm just gonna kill you for the sake of it and that is the end of HFP. Sam is no longer with us. Um, bye.